So uh, done at Travis's, it's cold out there. Uh, driving over to my parents' house now. My old man, he's got an old banjo we ran out back that uh, we bought when we were building a 28 Model A Roadster back in 1998, we started that project. And he bought a front end and a rear end, front axle in the rear end out of an old legendary 40 Ford Coupe here in town. Old man Kaziski had this chopped 40 Ford coupe. Yeah, the car's making some rattling. I don't think anything's gonna fall off, but I think it needs an eye roller and a pivot arm, but it's gonna be fine. But uh, so if you hear that rattle while I'm driving, don't be alarmed. Uh, it hasn't fallen off yet. I'm pretty sure we're good. So it will need some attention here soon. But uh, so he buys this dropped axle. It's a like an eight-inch dropped axle, and off of the, out of this old coupe, and they were. The boys were actually fixing it up for the old man, uh, and they were putting Mark 8 suspension underneath this thing, like new Lincoln stuff of some sort. So they were getting rid of the old stuff. So my dad buys, he wanted the axle, and it came with this rear end. And my old man, we used that axle in the, in the Roadster, that 8 inch dropped. And so we got this uh, banjo left over from that project that we didn't use because we put a Columbia 2 speed in that little Roadster. So now we have this Columbia, or sorry, this banjo sitting there and so I'm planning on putting that in the coupe for setup and we might even run it for a bit depending on what my uh, money looks like to get that 301 going but we'll just have to see um, how that plays out but uh, more to come. Well, we made it to the old man's house. There he is right there in the flush. Mm -hmm. Legend, storyteller himself right there. Thanks, Dad. Come on down here to the old man's stash. There she is. Oh, it's got wheels on it. Should have picked a warmer day for this. Dad just left. He did a great job. He was a rock star. It was cold out there. I appreciate him for helping. Love the guy. Totally blessed to still have him and be able to do stuff like this with him. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, anyway, so we got the rear end here, the rear end in here, and it's going to be super cold this week so I can get working on it, get the hubs off of it, I hope, get my puller, knock them out, get them so they spin. I'm probably going to put a 40 Ford spring in it first. Uh, to set it up under the car because it's still got the original 33 cross member in there so it would work well there to get the rear end set up for right height i think that should be a good combination to get the rear end sitting where i want it to be for now just for mock-up and then eventually uh, the plan will be at the end of the day once i get the front end all set up where i want it i'll go back to the back and set it up for the model a high buggy spring the big arch that way it will clear the the uh, 301 Hellebrand quick change center when it finally goes in. I may run this rear end first when I, to get the car done, just get it rolling. I might just put um, fluid in it and run it. My dad said he drained some water out of this thing after a set for some time, I guess. I, I thought he drained it. I thought it had some water in it when he first got it because it, when they pulled it out of the car, it was at the shop where they took it out and the drive shaft was up. I thought he pulled the water out right away, but I learned tonight that it sat for years with water and he finally drained it out here within the last couple of years. So it probably sat with water for 12 years, but I might try to run it anyway. 
just to get it going in the summer. If I, if I can, if it looks like I'm gonna get this thing going by the end of the summer or fall, and I don't have my quick change done, I can't afford to build the quick change, I may just run this banjo and see what happens. So probably open drive shaft is, is the vision. So anyway, uh, awesome on the rear, it's in here. I got this cow vent here from Travis's, which was a score and a half, so totally pumped because all the mechanisms are cut out of the car for the cow vent. And I could put a cow vent in, I could retrofit all this in there to be awesome. I don't know if I can run it though because in those 57 Bonneville photos, the engine is so far back. And what a Howdy Williams, uh, he wrote in a, a little paragraph one time about the car he was talking about, a little short story about it. He had mentioned that the motor had a 25% setback, which I think was some kind of possibly a rule. You couldn't be farther than that for Bonneville, probably in the coupe class, I'm guessing, or maybe it was drag racing, not quite sure. But the, in the pictures, those last two carburetors are under the cowl. So could I run all this under there? I doubt it, but I didn't, you know, I wanted to grab it just in case I could have it. I always get back to it if I don't use it, but uh, pretty cool. And plus, this door's got some really cool patina on it. Mm, the door that I have for it is actually bare steel, so this one would look pretty cool in there. Throw it in the hole. And this here was a really cool store. He had these inside the building, just stacked up a big stack of these. I can ask what they were for, and they're for 41 to 48 Fords, and they go on the frame. They bolt in the frame behind the radiator like this, and so the engine's here, the radiator's here, and these bolt into the frames to, to kind of support the inside of the, the, the inner fenders to kind of stiffen all that up. And there's a, the bolt that comes up through the bottom here has a spring on it, the nut comes down and, and it basically lets it still move around a little bit, but it, if it was tight, it would probably break. So uh, a little Ford engineering, I thought this would be cool to maybe cut down and narrow up or whatever I need to do to get behind the 33 shell to hold that up and possibly the radiator-ish. We'll see how that works out. I was originally gonna make some like eighth inch plate brackets or 3 16 brackets to come up and catch that stuff and that's what I was thinking in my mind. How am I gonna do that? Because there's nothing up there. But this would be cool if I could cut it down and use this because it's old Ford stuff. Anytime you could use an old Ford part and make it work on your project, way cooler than you know making something out of a, a sheet of steel, in my opinion. Um, so that was a score. And when he said he had a complete one, he thought out in the container, I was pretty pumped about that. So we found it, so that's cool. It's got some good patina on it too, and we're all about the patina here at South Omaha Speed. So I appreciate you watching. Uh, we'll catch you next time here in the shop, probably working and working on this we're in. So thank you so much for watching.